Hey guys, it's Mora, and welcome to part two of my walkthrough of Where in Time is Carmen San Diego. In the first video, I played the first case, which took place in ancient Egypt, and that's what I'm going to be doing with the rest of my walkthrough for this game, playing each individual case in an individual video. So I'm going to select my name so I can move on to case two, which I'll play in this video, part two which takes place in ancient Rome. So let's go ahead and get started. Tie on your toga time, pilot. This time travel terminates in ancient Rome, circa 50 BCE, during Julius Caesar's reign. For some reason, Rome's amazing water system is completely dry. You'd better find out why. And here we have our next good guide. Ivan Idea. And yes, his name is a pun too for Ivan Idea or I have an idea. Extraordinaire Ivan Idea as your good guy. He's got your time cuffs and your next chronopedia chapter. Good luck with the case time pilot and dip a toe in the floor if you get a chance. Hey there, pilot. I'm your good guy, Ivan Idea. Can you believe we're really here in ancient Rome? Julius Caesar is right over there. I wonder why he looks so wiped out. Hail, strangers. Lend me your ears. Some wretched renegade has stolen the forum and vandalized our great city's plumbing in the bargain. Well, we'd better have a word with Caesar and see what's up. Okay, before I talk to Caesar, I'm going to click on things as I look around. First thing I want to look at is a piece of the Carmen note here. Too much. Take a look at that Carmen note. That's a mosaic, an intricate picture put together like a jigsaw puzzle using ceramic tiles for cut stones. Mm, I love mosaics. Wow, look at that fine furniture. These Romans had epic accommodations. Such furnishings represent the taste of the upper class, of course. The lower classes live more roughly, which accounts for the annoying rebellions we must occasionally crush. Heavy. That looks like a statue of the Greek god, Hermes. The Greeks called him Hermes, but we Romans called him Mercury, messenger of the gods. His winged ankles make for fast deliveries. That's a retarius, which means net man in Latin. A retarius was a kind of gladiator who snared his opponent with the net and finished the job with a three-pronged trident. Believe me, a gladiator's life in the Colosseum and a politician's life in the Senate have much in common. Well, just watch your back, Julius. This column seems to be lacking vertical glutes. Its sides are smooth as silver. Hmm. Ah, yes, Wonder if he has anything different to say about the other columns. columns in our buildings. The variety was inspired by our Greek predecessors. I like the simple elegance of this column. I wonder if the chronopedia has any details about it. Check the marble horns on this baby. Beautiful. What a hairdo at the top of that column. Indeed. The ornate style of that column is one of my favorites. Makes one think of beautifully sculpted leaves, don't you think? Now let's finally talk to Caesar. Good day. And forgive my distracted state. The sewers are in an uproar. I am Julius Caesar, powerful leader, and soon to be Emperor of Rome. Military brilliance, my friend. I am a clever and fearless general, and I have commanded the best trained legions in all the Roman Empire. I made my reputation as a general, but lately I've been focusing on politics. I've brought order to the rowdy Roman streets, and I plan to introduce the 365-day calendar any month now. Yes, and a most felonious one. Some wretch stole the whole city block that houses the Roman Forum. The Forum is the center of all government, business, law, and religion. Rome will be lost without it. The villain escaped through our sewer system before my legionnaires could grab him, wrecking the pipes in his rush. When the thief escaped, he knocked many of the sewer pipes out of place. We have a serious failure of flow as a result. Why? Everyone needs clean water to drink and bathe, and the latrines must carry away unhealthy wastes. The sewers are not fixed. Things will get ugly. Fast. I thought you'd never ask. 
Go find my head plumber who is working beneath the streets of Rome. He could certainly use your help fixing the scattered sewers. Okay, let's uh, finish the co conversation here and let's walk into town. Until later, farewell. It's about time you laborers arrived to fix the plumbing. No one can bathe properly without flowing water. Okay, underground is where we need to be for the majority of this to complete our task, but I want to look around first before we do, including talking to the bather here. It's not essential to talk to him in order to successfully complete the game, but I'm going to go ahead anyway just for fun. Hey there! Stop by for some bath gossip. Justinian is my name. Just your regular dashing and handsome Roman enjoying my community bath. Why, they're a welcome event for me. I come to exercise, cleanse my body, and listen to gossip. Unfortunately, there's not much of a crowd today. Soap? What is uh, soap? No, no, I rub olive oil over my body, scrape it off with a strigel, and rinse with fresh water. Clean as a whistle. <laughs> Here's the latest gossip. Caesar is getting so powerful and popular that he might declare himself emperor. The Senate is getting so nervous that they may take drastic action. Juicy stuff, no? Ah, now there's a debate needing more than one bath. Put briefly, the Senate and Caesar share power in Rome, but tend to try and outdo each other. I'd love to, but without water, there is not much of a bath. This tepidarium is usually a comfortable place when the bath is filled with warm water. Uh, but not today. Patel! <laughs> that latrine looks backed up. The smell alone could overpower a fierce enemy. Latrine is another word for toilet. So, hey, where do you guys keep the toilet paper? Oh, paper is much too rare and expensive to be used in that manner. We prefer sponges attached to sticks. That graceful fountain is where we get all our drinking water. I find it a lovely sculpture uh, when it is working. The Romans used hidden tanks in the force of gravity to make water jet out of their fountains. Cool. That looks like a little Roman temple. That pleasant little temple is built in the old Greek style. I often have lunch there after my bath. Okay, now I'll finally go underground. Hail, friends. I could really use a hand. Hordes of angry Romans may come flooding down here at any moment. We have a job to do, pilot. And remember, talk to me if you need help. Okay, so I'm going to have to talk to the plumber before we can do anything with the pipes here. Now, in most cases, we don't always need to talk to the uh, background characters like this one here uh, in order to successfully complete the case or tasks in the case. But sometimes we do, and in this case, we need to talk to the plumber and ask him Greetings. some particular questions about what to do to next. But even when you need to talk to characters, other characters, there's only like one set of questions you need to ask to move up, to move forward, to process forward with the whatever task you need to do. I'm Marius Maximus, plebeian plumber of the Roman Republic. My job is essential. Roman plumbing brings fresh water to the public baths and fountains while also carrying away <clears throat> uh, waste. Without my services, Rome would be a mess. So it's not important to ask uh, Marius details about who he is to move forward. This one is. But I'm just going to ask all, que all the characters all the questions just for fun. Things aren't fixed fast. The Roman citizenry will soon be thirsty, dirty, and sick. Uh, try putting these sewer pipes into place. When you finish, we'll arm the pumps and get the water flowing. Like, like this. this. It is 
is quite simple, really. We need to get clean water flowing up to the fountain and bath above, and we need to drain the dirty latrine water down to that trough on the floor. Okay, so we need to put the pipes in place. Um, before I do that, I want to look at all the this things here. This is the here. freshwater inlet pipe. Sounds Aqua, refreshing. meaning water. Where does all the water come from? All of Rome's water comes from distant rivers. We cleverly transport it here through long underground channels. We may even build above ground channels someday and call them aqueducts. That's Latin for bath. So this pipe must be leading up to the tub above. Hmm. So if that's Latin for bath, this must be Latin for latrine this or pipe toilet. This down from the latrine. Alias toilet. And this one for fountain. Fontis. If my Latin hasn't rusted, this pipe must lead up to the fountain. Talk about heavy metal. <laughs> These pipes are made of lead. Unfortunately, the Romans didn't know how dangerous lead in drinking water Oh, yeah, be. lead poisoning. <laughs> Hold your nose. The pungent waters of the latrine. Mm, pungent. That's not a word I hear very often to describe hey, something in bad taste, or in this case, water. bad smell. We scoot all the wastewater right out to sea, which leaves Rome smelling sweet. That drainage trough carries the dirty latrine water right out of Rome. Phew. Okay, so to figure out what kind of pipes you need to put in place, you need to remember, like, uh, uh, like latrine water has to go down to the trowel. Bath and fountain water needs to be clean, so you have to choose the right pipes to have them connected. Uh, notice the symbol here on the latrine pipe. It's like on this pipe here, one way. So you need to use this one here. Oh, and look, this is one way you know you've chosen the correct one. There's a Carmen note. A Carmen note? Our thief must have pipelined right through here. And you need this one, the other straight pipe. And you may notice that there are some curved pipes here too. Yes, you need to use a couple of those to keep the correct uh, kind of water together, clean with clean, dirty with dirty. So. Um, you need to use this curved pipe to keep all the dirty latrine water together. So as it goes here, you see, and then the one-way pipe, having that connected, should all drain down to the trowel here. That means this curved pipe here right. you plug will keep the, the clean gaps. water Dark from the fountain and bath together. And uh, when we uh, pump the pipes, uh, we should have, if it's correct, we should have dirty water coming down here. So let's, let's apply see if we're muscle. right. Will you help me pump? Primed and ready to pop. Uh, why don't you journey up to the surface and see if our pipes are working in the daylight? Congratulations! All right. You did it. The plumbing works fine now, and I was in sore need of a bath. <laughs> oh, and I found this floating in my clean bath water. Have a look. Ah, the last piece of the Carmen note. Super job! You found the last Carmen note. We can decipher the riddle with a little help from the Carnopedia. I'm charging up the time cuffs. Let's use them where the thief is hiding. It's not necessary to go back underground, but I just want to hear what he has to say well since we've done, com successfully completed the task. Hail Caesar! Hail Caesar! I mean, tell Caesar. The sewer has been salvaged. Okay, I just even want to point out while I'm here that if you use the incor use incorrect pipes, um, like all these straight ones to connect like dirty and clean together, you'll have, you might have clean water coming out of the pipe into the trowel here and then dirty water up above and Justinian comments on the horrendous smell of it. And it's quite funny, uh, I must say. I think I'll make a little video of showing that uh, all the mistakes with the pipes and plumbing just to, just for amusement. It's sort of like if you use the wrong kinds of um, jars on the dead body in uh, Egypt, how you mess up and you have to redo it. So I'll maybe make that as a fun extra sometime, but here I have the task successfully completed, so I'm going to go and head back to Caesar's place. Our plumbing is ailing no longer. In gratitude, I shall host a party in your honor. We can all wear our most elaborate togas. My first toga party! Stoked! Oh, boy, almost forgot. 
We're here to catch a thief. Sorry, Caesar. We'll have to catch a Roman scene some other time. As you wish. All the seven hills of Rome, thank you. Okay, so since the time cuffs are active, I'm going to put them on the spot where the thief is hiding. And uh, I know where all the thieves are hiding in each case, so I'm not going to look at the chronopedia to show the clue. Just point out where they are, and it's here at the column. Super the ionic column. That column with the marble horns is 100% ionic. Talk, Talk about, about ironic. <laughs> Dr. Belljar. We've cracked the case and captured the diabolical Dr. Belljar. Now the time portal opens and we're going back to the present. Tough luck, Belljar. Your formula for fiendishness has failed. You're due for a long tune-up in the Acme Jail. You pulled the plug on my prank, but Carmen won't leave me short-circuited for long. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, time pilot. You busted that beastly bell jar, found the form, and restored the history of civil engineering. Thanks to you, Rome's sewer system is in top working order, and because of that, we all have indoor plumbing today. I think now we'll get a promotion. That, you deserve recognition. I'm promoting you to Time, time scout. scout. Now you've got something to scout about. There's a whole new case just up ahead. Can you take it on right now? Um, okay, I'm going to decline to, uh, because I want to end this video just with this case and I'll make the next video for case three, but before I do, I wanted to mention that you get uh, other, I think about four other promotions throughout the game. You start off as a time pilot and based on how many cases you successfully complete, you get a rank. You go, then go from over the course of the game from time pilot to scout, trooper, detective and inspector, and then finally sleuth, which you earn right before you go on the chase for Carmen. So I'm going to, again, end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this just as much as I enjoyed playing it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. You deserve a break after that great work. I'll hold on the fort till you come back.